Hey guys, it's Big Z and welcome back to Broken Age. Okay, so we have to decide who we want to help first. But to be honest, I kind of want to go out into space. Better suit up and investigate that foreign body. Oh, I don't like you going out there. Let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on. Is anyone else getting a smart house vibe from this? If any of you watched those Disney Channel movies, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, I love it. He looks so excited. It's so cute. Also, his voice sounds really familiar. I need to, like, look up the cast. Because... Okay. Um, I'm outside okay. the ship. The foreign body must be very close by. Because he sounds super familiar, the tree sounds super familiar, and then the guy who played Lightbeard, Lightbeard, he sounds familiar too. Just everyone sounds familiar. <laughs> this is pretty though. I like the. Woo! Can I go up? Aww. Aww. Fun sucker. Okay. I found the object. It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should stick my face right into it. Ah! Get off of me! Get off! No wonder she treats you like a child. <laughs> You're an idiot. Congrats. You're Spunfetti. Oh wait, no, it'd be Confetti. Nutrition taste for you today: grilled cheese. Oh. <laughs> Gross. So, fun fact. Uh, Ready for your next exciting space mission, honey? We've got an avalanche, uh -huh. a runaway train, uh -huh. a spaceship under attack, uh -huh. and a mysterious object on the hull. We already did that one. Uh, I just want to say real quick, like, I remember when I was a kid, my dad was... Uh, in the military and he got deployed and when he came back he had a whole bunch of MREs left over that he or ready to eat meals REMs not MREs <laughs> um he had a whole bunch of those and he let my brother and I try some and they were disgusting they were basically paste like what he's eating and I don't know how my dad ate them because they were just it was gross <laughs> so yeah I don't know why but that just reminded me of that and I just I don't know why I wanted to tell you so why don't we, uh, catch Let's a catch runaway, train. runaway train? Aye, aye, Captain Sweetie. To System 7. <coughs> Who are you? The train Who are these people? Don't tear your ears off. Oh no. <laughs> I love the train. The train took forever to get up like, oh god, I'm getting too old for this. Shay, you're getting too fat. <laughs> the poor train can't get you up there. What's that, son? Did you say wake up the bridge man? But I don't want to. Wake up, bridge man. Oh, finally. My arms were about to pop off. Was I supposed to Thank do that? We should celebrate. Let's do so well. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, <laughs> no, I feel bad. Can we do the train one again? I want to do the wave now. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm a fun sucker. I want to do the train again. I feel bad. They wanted to do the wave and I said no. You're going to love this dinner pill. Fried chicken, kind of. Kind of? What do you mean kind of? I guess it's a pill, so that's the kind of part. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Okay, so we did the fake train wreck. We did the spacewalk. Uh, 
Let's do the avalanche. We need to help those avalanche victims. I knew you'd want to help them, sweetie. Flying a course for Planet Galactica. Is that ice cream? My toes are really chilly. This is the massive avalanche? It's worse than it looks. Really? How? It's That's a dream come true. <laughs> That's not worse. Yeah. I was about to say, that'd be so cool. Do you have chocolate chip cookie dough? Because I'd love you forever if you did. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh, look. Yeah. It's another grab and carry robot. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean, my collection. <laughs> Aww. He's like, what you talking about the trash? Look at him, he's so cute. Okay. I don't like these, they're too easy. Eating isn't a race. Unless you're eating with me, I eat super fast. Not really. Not really. <laughs> So, do they think he's really stupid and irresponsible, or are these just like old missions he's been doing since he was a baby? Look at this sleepy hero. Another day older and deeper in space. Hmm. Come on, sleeping beauty. Time to get up. Up is a pump. Ruff, ruff, ruff. There's a lot of dog references in this. Chocolate rockets? Should we do it? Go through all that again? No. We'll sure. Cooperate. What difference does it make? Your saliva has a 0 0.001 pH imbalance today. May I suggest more whole grain nutrient paste? No. <laughs> No more pace. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Okay. Uh, the only one... I want to do the train wreck again and have them do the wave, but first let's do this we one. Have we haven't done it yet. Circle. Oh, I just don't know who would attack those poor defenseless cuties. To the teleporter room. That's creepy. The faces are creepy. The distressed vessel, friendship circle. I found one of the crew. This entire look that is creepy. Maybe it's just me. Fake controls. What a surprise. I find like kid stuff super More creepy. Fake controls. Or at least in this lighting. <laughs> what happened here? From an enemy vessel? Or an alien creature? Oh. Or did you attack yourselves in a fit of space madness? It wasn't! Yes. Oh. Are you kidding? Got a special nutrition paste for you today. Egg salad sandwich. Whoa. It sounds crunchy. I don't think paste is supposed to be crunchy. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Ugh, I gotta get out of this routine. Alright, let's do the train wreck. Fake train wreck, please. I knew you'd choo -choo choose that one. Hey. To System 7. There's only one person allowed to make terrible puns here, and that's me. We're gonna crash into Spike Canyon! <laughs> Are we supposed to do that? I feel like we're supposed to do Wait, that. Bridge man. Because he, that one holds on every time we go to that spot, as if they're expecting me to not do it. Yeah, let's do the wave. What? Oh, come on! I did all this again just so we could do the wave. Dang it. You're getting me off track here, man. You're going to love this dinner pill. Deep 
fried nutrition paste. Gross. <laughs> That's like deep fried Twinkies and deep fried Oreos. Basically deep fried what anything. Sounds week? disgusting. Here we go again. Okay. I didn't see anything in this one that we could mess up. But I didn't- I mean, I explored. I didn't really exp- Eh. There, you couldn't really explore in that one. I didn't try anything with the avalanche. Fattening avalanche, I guess. Well, good. You're so skinny. Plotting a course for Planet Galactica. He could have a high metabolism. Or he could have a problem with his, uh... I'm not gonna believe this, but... There was another ice cream avalanche? Yeah! What's that called? Weird. Oh, I can't remember what they're called now. It's a certain gland. If you have a problem with it, it can... Discovered a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that. <laughs> it's called a door, Shay. Discovered a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that, Shay. Okay. Hey, check this out. Why not check out us avalanche victims over here instead? Because this is way more interesting. I kind of want to hear what their little things are. Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay. Thanks for the confidence booster. Don't worry. I'll okay. Figure out how to get All you right. Out of there soon. Fine. Good evening. That's going to drive me insane now. Today. Yeah, that's the way I felt when I was your age. Aww. Okay, I'm confused. Rise and shine. Are they computers or? Good morning, Shay. Cause his dad is the one that's down working on Project Choco Rockets. Yeah, sure, whatever. Sure. Difference does it uh, make? cause his dad is down there working on Project Dandelion, but they make it sound like I don't know. Mm, that bike was yummy. Mm. Questionable. What Thyroid. Mission should we go on next? Sweetie? That's what it is. I'd rather jump off a cliff than do this again. Okay. <laughs> They've completed. <laughs> I feel like an idiot because they're like, these are your three options. We're gonna start taking away options. We're also gonna hint train wreck, jumping please. off a cliff. <laughs> okay, obviously it's the train. But no, the thyroid gland. If you have problems with your thyroid gland, that can cause problems with your weight. So you could have problems with the thyroid. I don't know why I'm obsessed with this. Hi, Bella. What's that, son? Did you say wake up the bridge, man? That's such a good idea. No, I'm good. Then just let it go. If only there were a heroic genius on the train. <laughs> that makes it worse. <laughs> so, is Shay an orphan? Well, no. I don't know. Okay. Wake up, bridge man! Hooray! Good. Now leave it down! Back to sleep, bridge man. Son, what are you doing? Shane! <laughs> what were you thinking? You could have saved us so easily! I'm sure you had to be there! <laughs> 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 He's gone completely insane. That's his. Ooh. Uh <laughs> I should have seen that coming. They wouldn't have something dangerous. Never mind. Having Ah fun? You're weird. Huh? Who are you? When you tire of child's play, when you're ready for real danger, come see me. But tell no one. Do you understand? Okay, but no one. Hey, wait! What? 
Okay, so there's a creepy wolf dog man pup thing. No discussion about it, young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. No, it can't. All missions are canceled. I love you. Aww. <sighs> I feel bad. She's only trying to protect him. Okay. So... Weird. No missions. I can do... whatever? Freedom! <laughs> that grin. I don't know, what else can you do on this ship? We haven't even seen it, really. Just once, I'd like to see a huge flaming asteroid hurtling in our Let's direction. Let's not see that. Can't sleep. On a mission. Why do computers need sleep? I'm really confused about these guys. I mean, they could have programmed them to make it sound like they had a childhood like him. You know, to say like parent things like, oh, I was just like you when I was a kid. I don't know. Uh, don't say that again. Just no. Once, I'd like to see a huge flaming asteroid hurtling in our direction. Missions canceled until further notice. <laughs> <laughs> you sound so sorry about it. It's locked. What a dirty trick. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? What am I? Your prisoner? Just until I'm sure you're safe. You have no idea how important you are, Shay. You want to tell us how important he is? <laughs> Stupid over overprotective mecha mother. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. What's this? She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. There's an air tank attached to the top of it. Cool. I don't know. Hmm. The air vent is screwed shut with these weird little Wait. screws. <laughs> Grabbing Gary, maybe? Nah. <laughs> Gary doesn't like to grab things with weird little screws. That's oddly specific. There we go. I had a feeling it was that. I was just like, oh, well, let's check Gary. It works. Hmm. Okay. Um. What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. Oh, are we supposed to use that? Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? So the sound of him opening the vent didn't alert you, but the second he tries to put a foot in the vent, that's when you wake up. Okay, get back out of bed. I think I know what we're supposed to do. I have my stupid moments. It's a tank of compressed air. But I'm not stupid all the time. Could be useful in an emergency. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa. It looks like a blow up oh. doll of me. Oh, Freaky. that's weird. <laughs> Oh, my mind is going to not good places right now. That doesn't even look like you. I'm going to call him Little Lazy All right. Me. Well, I get the idea. I used to do this as a kid. I didn't have a blow-up version of myself, thank God. But I used to, like, set my pillows in the bed to make it look like I was sleeping in bed so when my parents checked my room, they didn't know I was gone. Hopefully. This looks enough like me to It looks the nothing like you. It's twice the size of you. You have like three strands of hair and this one has a full on fro going on. It also has a lazy eye. Like its eyes are looking opposite ways. Let's just see though. Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, little oh. hero. Man, computer <laughs> stupid. Again, that did not, like, scare her. 
Okay. So I've come to the conclusion it's a wolf. Whoa. How have I never seen this part of the ship before? You came. Yes, Mr. Because wolf. You're done with children's games. Yes. You are so weird. Who are you? My name is Marek. No, you're what Mr. I'm wolf. To show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe eating ice cream, playing ice with cream. trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But You're weird. Does it even matter? There will yeah. always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this How are you talking without your mouth moving? Received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. Furbies! The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. But... Yes? We... We have to save them. Yes. Oh, that's yes, weird. We <laughs> I'm pleased you feel as such. We Don't to touch him. Computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. No. You're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear, so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. I'm confused and terrified on many accounts. First of all, that entire speech was really weird. Second of all, how is he talking without moving his mouth? Third of all, he was extremely vague. Sorry, I had to think. Uh, third of all, he was extremely vague on what exactly is going on. And fourth, it seems like him and the mom computer, the whatever you want to call her, the maternal computer, seem to have a history with each other. Excuse me, Merrick? What are you doing? There's no time to waste. Take that vent to the navigation room and give that star chart to the Space Weaver right now. Fifth of all, Mr. Wolf is very rude. Okay. I don't care what his name is. I'm calling him Mr. Wolf. <laughs> ah, the young master has come to play with the Space Weaver. Dude! Oh man, a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. I pooped today. Oh, is that embarrassing? Oops. He is so cool looking. Oh, I love him. Oh, he's so cool. Okay, hey, sorry. Space Weaver, can you take me here? It would be elementary. I like him. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing wolf and wolf drive. Intake Looks like the space weaver has encoded the star chart into a Leave graph of units and curls. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five. Four. Oh my gosh. Three. Two. One. Finally! Okay. Whoa! Oh my gosh. It's like an EDM concert. <laughs> Another safe voyage brought to you by the navigation department. Gracias. Okay. I did the thing you asked. Are you happy now? Are you proud of me, Mr. Wolf? So weird. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cub. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. 
This is worse than I thought. Uh huh. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. Are we gonna save the burbies? You need to lower the shields so the boom arms can be extended. Okay. Good. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above the subject. Like this? I get it. I got it. Great work, Shay. Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. And ours. You mean our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young cub. How is he and able to figure save more quickly before their captors return? How is he able to Use figure the movement controls to position the ship? Shut up. How is he supposed to figure that out? Or how is he able to figure that out? But then he Careful. can't figure out to not put his face in front Wait of something it. that could be dangerous on the hull of a ship. Sorry, uh, I'm distracted. See the creature in your mind's eye, then simply release. All right, calm down. I missed it once. Calm down. <laughs> Got another one. Great. Now just place it in the cargo hold and. Oh no. What is it? Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. Aww. No! No! Well, Birdie! Bye bye, Birdie. Tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from Danger System 5. <laughs> are you up to it? Who makes up these names? <laughs> Jay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and head to Danger System 5 in the next episode. I feel so bad, though. We weren't able to save all the birds. It was Bye Bye Birdie. Oh, well. So, I guess we'll save them all in the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!